A player's hand gesture toward her opponent during the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship has sparked a massive and in my opinion, ridiculously out of control controversy online. So let's give you some context on what happened. So LSU beat Iowa 102 to 85 in Sunday's championship game, okay? Now 20 year old Angel Reese helped lead her team to victory over Iowa and their star Caitlin Clark, okay? So Caitlin Clark is the star of the Iowa team and the Iowa team lost. Now with under a minute remaining, Reese began celebrating by doing wrestler John Cena's you can't see me gesture, it looks like this. Okay, which she directed toward Clark, okay, the opposing team star player. Now, we can't show you the video for copyright reasons, but here you just saw the image of the gesture in question. She then pointed her finger or pointed to her ring finger, as you see in that image, alluding to the championship ring she'd soon be getting. Okay. So for that gesture, Reese has received a ton of ridiculous backlash. And I say ridiculous, before we get to the backlash, I say ridiculous because even though I am ignorant when it comes to sports, even though I'm not really into sports, one thing that I do know without a shadow of a doubt is that male basketball players say the worst things to each other (laughs) on the court. I know that, I've heard it, I've seen it. The NBA, like the players, crap talk one one another like crazy. And it's not a big story, it's not a big controversy, but for some reason this story is. So let's get to the details on what the backlash was. Dave Portnoy, who is um, the Barstool Sports President said or called her a classless piece of, and then used an expletive there. Even Keith Olbermann weighed in on this uh, saying what an effing idiot. It was what I don't just let them fight like what and by the way not physically fight but who yeah. cares why is this even a story who cares it's it's a story because of the subtext right um if Keith Overman and Dave Portnoy just got their tweets off and everybody called them idiots um we would be able to move on with our lives but there is a subtext sort of happening below the surface that for whatever reason responsible media I mean responsible people in media just refuse to sort of attack head on and we can do that here because This is TYT, right? Mm -hmm. Um, The Caitlin Clark young lady, right? She has been breaking records, viewership records this entire year and this entire tournament. They played a sold out arenas. She's gotten a lot of attention for her game. Um, This has been going on for a couple of years now. And the reason for this is yes, she's a cutesy little white woman doing it in a predominantly black sport, but her style of play, which is flashy ball handling and long range shooting is legitimately exciting. It's legitimately new to the sport of women's basketball, the way that she's doing it. She's legitimately a Steph Curry type of player. And so she's gotten a lot of attention from it, right? Um, A lot of positive press. Um, And yes, her games have been very well viewed. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think the other players and even coaches of other teams have been a little resentful and jealous of it because quite frankly, there might be a racial component to the adulation that she's getting. So like the vinegar and the acidity that people are seeing from the um, LSU player Reese is palpable and real. Mm -hmm. And it is coming from somewhere of this like, they've been sweating this little white girl for years now. We just beat her and we don't get half the praise, half the attention. And again, yes, we got it. um, This is America. Some of it might have to do with the fact that she's white. But we have to admit that she's legitimately a special player. And if you're in media, if you are an adult, we can recognize that like the self aggrandizement, you don't yourself have to actually feed into. Mm -hmm. You don't have to turn Keith Oberman and Dave Portnoy who is a known troll into the culture war. We can be like, you know what? the 
Women's college basketball tournament just outdrew the NBA on ESPN this year. What? This is a legitimate phenomenon. Yes, you That's a big heard deal. And uh you haven't even heard this okay. because we're too busy adjudicating the culture war. Like these women have broken viewership records. This is incredibly positive for the sport. Hell yeah. Yes. The, the 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 black women can be mad and feel kind of resentful about Caitlin Clark, the attention that she's gotten. And there's something real there. There's but a there on. there. Hold on, hold on. So I don't doubt what you're saying, but there is another element that I want to bring up. First off, sure. uh, later Keith Olbermann apologized because he claimed uh, that he was uninformed before he uh, put out that tweet. But there's a backstory, right? So you shared a little bit of the backstory, actually what I think is some of the most important context to it. But then there was also accusations toward Caitlin Clark because prior to this game, apparently Caitlin Clark did the same gesture. Yes, there you go, is, and didn't get- This part of it is undisputable. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong in the sports sense with what happened. Um, a white guy who's old as hell like Keith Oberman, who is of this sort of puritanical past culture in sports where you quote unquote act like you've been there, show class to your opponent, you know, don't be as you know a, a boastful winner. This is all stuff from the past that the the, the culture war is over on that mm -hmm. front. We so all true. acknowledge that that's nonsense and it's less fun when people behave that way. Can I Nobody jump in? actually thinks that. So let me jump in on that because you're so right about that. In fact, Major League Baseball and I only know about this because of my husband Christian, he used to play professional baseball. But he told me back in the day when he was playing, it was considered unsportsmanlike behavior to celebrate a home run. Let's say you hit a home yes. run, you get to the base, yes. you know, you finish so it. And let's say you're you're excited, you just doing this, like it was like frowned upon. But that yes. culture war's over, right? Because the culture yes. has changed. I remember uh Puig, Yasiel Puig. Did, was course. not into that whole like norm no, of no, don't no. celebrate. So he started celebrating and he would get negative headlines for it. But he's like, no, I'm gonna celebrate, I don't care. And I think that was what kind of pushed Major League Baseball to this like new culture of no, go ahead and celebrate your wins, it's, that's okay. Yeah, that that it's it's over. So when the people on the other side um, try to act like there's actually some culture or institution or power that's allied against the LSU women's basketball team, it's not true. Mm -hmm. There's some idiot individuals online who hold no sway, no power, cannot hold these women back from achieving their goals professionally and personally that we can ignore. Um, and again, the stuff about the women who participated, who may have lost to Iowa and beat Iowa and feel like Iowa has gotten all of this adulation in a way that feels disproportionate, they there's something to that. Mm -hmm. However, we need to concentrate on the overwhelming success that was this women's tournament and what it means for the sport going forward that they could put a product out there that was this popular. We don't got a culture war this to death, please for the life of God. I like your take. I think your take is actually pretty unique just based on what I've heard others say about this whole incident. I, I, I like that positive message that you have and I, I didn't even know, I had no idea that these games were bringing in or drawing more of an audience than the actual NBA, that is insane. Dude, they did, I think they did a peak of 12.5 million viewers. That's insane. The average NBA game on ESPN right now is getting like four or five or six million. This is a sport that used to draw in the hundred thousands. NBA, WNBA regularly in the hundreds of thousands of viewers for their games. These people, these women did 12.5 million. That should be the headline coming out of this instead. Because again, don't think there's not these race warriors, culture warriors on quote unquote our side, Anna, mm -hmm. who are blowing that part of it up to an extent that I think is unnecessary. I mean, Believe me, I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, but I do wanna just uh, close on this because uh, Angel Reese did uh, release a statement about Caitlin Clark saying, Caitlin Clark is a hell of a player for sure. 
But I don't take disrespect lightly. I, I kind of love her, by the way. <laughs> uh, and she disrespected Alexis and my girls. South Carolina, they still my SEC girls too. Uh, yeah. You're not gonna disrespect them either. I had a moment at the end of the game. I was in my bag. Uh, I was in the moment. And you know what? That's Let her go. Let That's her go. It. <laughs> we don't need anything else. No more explanation. Yeah. That is perfectly said by her. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. We really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.